Okay, today is June 20th, 2017, and this is a short update on the uh, development of a hurricane in the uh, Gulf of Mexico right here. We've got area of low pressure, which is trying to spin counterclockwise. There's a right angle on it right here. That's a transmitter trying to prevent the uh, counterclockwise rotation, and we can actually see some clockwise rotation right here. Okay, so we have another area of low pressure also up here, which is not marked, and that has a transmitter on it. We can see the uh, this dark area and right in this area is where that uh, low is spinning, <clears throat> and that's not marked on the uh, satellite, or rather the Hurricane Center map. Let's take a look at that right now. And we have this uh, potential tropical cyclone 3. This is a tropical depression. With 40 mile per hour winds, uh, the pressure has dropped slightly from yesterday. It's moving uh, northwest at 10 miles per hour, and the formation potential is listed as 90%. So, this uh, is probably going to be a hurricane by uh, tomorrow or the next day. Down here, we have Brett. This is still moving uh, west northwest at 21 miles per hour, has a higher uh, central pressure of 1,008 millibar, <clears throat> and it's uh, moving, or rather the winds are uh, 45 miles per hour. Okay, so getting back to the water vapor map, we have this right angle right here. You can see that in the, uh, in the rainbow map as well. And this very strange spherical outline right there where that transmitter is working. We actually have a transmitter uh, creating that right angle microwave most likely and we also have several areas around in this red which are being targeted uh, as well pinpoint uh, targeting with microwaves so we can take a look at that right here in this uh, uh, visible light map we see the right angle right here and as the uh, night to day transition moves through we can stop the loop now and take a look uh, we have some uh, sparkly photoshop over this area and as the uh, night to day transition happens we see some areas some dimple areas right here which is where these uh, where the microwave is targeting this storm okay now as we move to the next frame we see an area right here now keep an eye on this area right there we move to the next frame this crater starts to form and expand out and this is where the a microwave is, is targeting and uh, superheating uh, the storm. You see how large this gets as we advance through, through the uh, frames. There are multiple areas throughout this uh, hurricane development that are being targeted. Right in here, right here. And we see a straight edge, a right angle right on the center. This is the center. Of that uh, spinning storm. Let's just uh, roll that loop and watch what happens. See the uh, rapid expansion. This area is being superheated. And the same thing over here. <coughs> So going back to the uh, water vapor map, uh, the transmitters are targeting these uh, developing thunderstorms. And we can see that there's not much rotation around the back side of this storm because there's another low pressure system right here, which is uh, also being squashed out. There's a low pressure spinning right there, separate and apart from this uh, developing hurricane. So. These people are trying to maintain separation. Eventually, this will probably all merge together. We'll have to keep a close eye on this. There's actually clockwise rotation in this area. We can see that right here. Things are spinning clockwise as they're forcing descending air into this uh, region. Of course, these right angles are not uh, Mother Nature. That's not. Uh, also, that's not carbon dioxide causing that. 
CO2 has nothing to do with the, this uh, weather manipulation that we're seeing here. This is being done uh, by uh, RF, very powerful RF transmitters. And it could be also a uh, laser. This can be done with laser, uh, you know, laser light, coherent light, and a coherent microwave. So we see these pinpointed attacks. And that is uh, what is destroying that storm. All right, let's look at the uh, west coast. This is the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. This upper level low continues to move uh, to the uh, west, as we can see here with the grid on. This is actually moving to the west. Also, this area over here is being targeted and blown apart with microwave. We have the jet stream, uh, which is diving down. Uh, that upper level low pressure that was uh, northwest of Hawaii has now been picked up in the jet stream. We can see that moving uh, towards the uh, west coast into Washington and uh, Canada. Now here's the western U.S. water vapor map. We can see this area being targeted, blown apart, uh, superheated with microwave. This developing uh, weather system right here, which is under the influence of a very strong high pressure a dome right there. We can see that spherical uh, outline. And that is evaporating. We can see a blast wave right here, too. So this particular area is being uh, superheated. Let's look at this in the uh, infrared map. We can see that uh, tremendous amount of evaporation right there. And in the uh, visible light uh, map, we can see uh, a shock wave right in this area. Right up in this area. Now, in the SSCC water vapor map, you get much better detail of that uh, superheating uh, happening over uh, the uh, south uh, west corner of New Mexico, right here. That is being superheated. We can see a blast wave moving out radially all the way around. I hope that's visible in this uh, map. Right there. Okay, well, that's not too clear on the monitor. So, um, <clears throat> anyhow, that's the uh, update, just a short update. And uh, we'll leave it right here. This really captures some good detail of how these storms are uh, being controlled. They don't always kill these off. They, 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 uh, they can throttle these back. They can steer them with high pressure, just like we're seeing out here in the Pacific. We've got this uh, upper level low, which is actually moving west. That's not normal. And of course, look at California here in Arizona. We're baking in some very, very hot temperatures. It's doubtful any of this will wrap around and get into California. If it does, we're going to see some chemtrail activity to uh, sponge up all that water vapor. You can see some of this wrapping around. This could, by the end of the day, move into San Diego, uh, Tijuana, San Diego, maybe L.A., and we'll see some chemtrails. That's very likely if this continues. Uh, anyhow, we'll keep an eye on it. We can see the uh, clockwise rotation. And uh, that's it. So uh, we'll leave it right here. Okay, that's it.